Thank you for visiting JRCipriano.com. If you're here looking at this page, that means that you need remote support. It's very easy. Simply go to JRCipriano.com and click on remote support. Then click here. The first screen is going to ask for your computer description. It gives an example. I suggest following this example by pointing out whether it's a desktop or a laptop. And then naturally check I've received this link from a trusted source. And then click continue. Choose download now. And click run. Choose run again. And choose next. Here you will see that the installation will be attached to the company Cipriana Consulting. And I am the account holder. And I am the only account holder for security reasons. Click next or hit enter. Choose I agree or hit enter. And then click next or hit enter. Do not choose custom. The computer access code is what's needed for me to connect to your computer. This can either be a new password or an existing password that you already have. Whatever it is, this is the code that I will need to get to your machine. As it points out here, it says that it should be at least eight characters long and hard to guess but easy to remember. So following that, just enter in any password that you can think of. Make sure it's correct. And hit enter. Hit enter again, and it should be done in a few seconds. Notice that the screen says that your monitor may flicker. This is normal. And that's it. Set up complete. Hit enter or click finished. Once you see this screen, you'll notice that the uh, computer name here is up in the top left hand corner. And this pretty much lets you know that it's done. Also, you can see that it shows you whether someone is remotely connected to your machine or not. This is very important. Down here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, this is the log me in symbol. This lets you know whether it's turned on or turned off. If at any time you want to turn off this program, right click on that symbol and choose switch off log me in. It's going to ask do you really want to disable it? Choose yes and it's turned off. That's how you can tell whether it's turned on or turned off. And that's how you turn it on or turn it off. Um, down here you'll see that um, the, the icon is still here and to turn it on you just simply right click on it and turn it back on. 
Um, so that's it. It's really easy. And uh, thank you for watching this video. This is my first screencast, so I apologize for any stuttering or stammering. But I just wanted to put this up here. I figured this was better than a bunch of screenshots. And so if you already know how to do this and you're ready to go, go back to the website, jrcipriano.com. And click here. And that's it. Right here at the remote support page. Right there to begin. Thanks a lot.